in this video i will talk about the circuits in which the diode will be connected in series after that i will show you total three examples so that you can have a better idea of the circuit in which the diode will be connected in series see if i have a pn junction diode here let's say this diode is made of silicon when this diode will be in forward bias i will replace it with its simplified equivalent circuit that means a voltage source of 0.7 volt whose positive terminal will be in the p side and the negative terminal will be in the n side of the diode okay now look at this circuit structure and this circuit structure here you will see this diode and this diode will be connected in series and uh, this diode and this diode will be connected in series but they are connected in back to back connection let's say if i apply a positive bias voltage here and positive bias voltage here you will see the positive terminal will be connected with the p side of this diode and n side of this diode and the positive terminal will be connected with the p side of this diode and p side of this diode and the negative terminal will be connected with the n side of this diode and n side of this diode and this negative terminal will be connected with the p side of this diode and n side of this diode see that means this diode will be in forward bias and this diode is also in forward bias so we, we will get current in this circuit when the diodes are connected in series in this configuration now look at this circuit this diode will be in forward bias but this diode will be in reverse bias so it is not possible for us to get any current because when this diode will be in reverse bias we have to replace this diode with an open circuit and in an open circuit there is no current flow now if i change the polarity of the bias voltage that means that means negative terminal at this side and positive terminal at this side negative terminal at this side and positive terminal at this side there you will see the positive terminal will be connected with the p side of the diode inside of this diode and this negative terminal will be connected with the p side of this diode and n side of this diode the positive terminal will be connected with the n side and n side of these diodes the negative terminal will be connected with the p side and p side of this diode this implies that both the diodes will be in reverse bias so it is not possible for us to get any current in this circuit because as they are in reverse bias we will replace them with open circuits now consider this case this diode will be in reverse bias but this diode will be in forward bias as this diode is in reverse bias i will replace this diode with an open circuit that means there will be no current flow in this circuit so the current i will be equal to zero see in both cases the current in the circuit is equal to zero but here you will see when this diode will be in forward bias this diode will also be in forward bias when this diode will be in reverse bias this diode will be in reverse bias so i can conclude that i can easily control the current in a circuit in which the diodes will be connected in this configuration but here you will see when this diode will be in forward bias this will be in reverse bias and when this will be in reverse bias this will be in forward bias in such case we don't get any current in this circuit therefore i can conclude that i cannot connect the diodes in series randomly if i want to control the current flow in a circuit now let me show you some examples in of circuits in which the diodes will be connected in series calculate the current through and voltage across 1 kilo ohm resistor i have to calculate the current through this 1 kilo ohm resistor and voltage across this 1 kilo ohm resistor to calculate the current and voltage at first i have to look at the bias conditions of the diodes see this positive terminal will be connected with the p side and the p side of the diodes and the negative terminal will be connected with the n side and n side of the diodes that means both the diodes will be in forward bias as they are made of silicon so i will replace them with a voltage source of 0.7 volt see i have replaced the diodes with 0.7 volt source now see as this is positive terminal and this is negative terminal the current will be flowing in this direction up to this negative terminal let's say that current is i in this circuit and that current is i through 1 kilo ohm because this is a series circuit so total current will be same 
now how do we calculate the current I will apply KVL in this closed loop if I apply KVL in the circuit I will get plus 12 minus 0 0.7 minus 0 0.7 minus I into 1000 equal to 0 from which I can calculate I will be equal to 10.6 divided by 1000 from which I can calculate 0 0.0106 which will indicate 10.6 milliampere so this I is the current through the 1 kilo ohm resistor now I will calculate the voltage drop across 1 kilo ohm resistor V across 1 kilo ohm resistor will be equal to I through 1 kilo into 1000 I R 10.6 milliampere into 1000 so I will get a voltage drop of 10. Point 6 volt. I can easily calculate the voltage drop across this 1 kilo ohm resistor by simply apply KVL in this circuit. Let's say I denote that voltage with V1K. See if I apply KVL at first I will encounter this 12 volt plus 12. After that this 0 0.7 minus 0 0.7. After that this 0 0.7 minus 0 0.7. After that this 1 kilo ohm resistor. See current will be entering from this direction so this terminal should be positive and this terminal should be negative. Minus V 1k algebraic sum of voltages will be equal to 0 so I will get V across 1k will be equal to 12 minus 1.4 which will be equal to 10.6 volt okay this is my second example of diode series circuit see this silicon diode this silicon diode and this silicon diode and this silicon diode they all are connected in series I have to calculate the voltage drop across this 2 kilo ohm resistor and the current through this 2 kilo ohm resistor so at first we have to look at the biasing condition of the diodes plus terminal of this 25 volt will be connected with the P side P side P side P side of the diodes and the negative terminal will be connected with the inside 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 and inside of the diodes that means all the diodes will be in forward bias so I will replace them with a 0 0.7 volt source if I replace the diodes with 0 0.7 volt source you will see the positive terminal of the sources will be connected in upward direction and the negative terminal will be connected in downward direction now look at this terminal and this terminal you will see we have three voltage sources of 0 0.7 volt connected in series therefore that voltage source will be the voltage across 2 kilo ohm resistor which will be equal to 0 0.7 plus 0 0.7 plus 0 0.7 because they have the same polarities between this terminal to this terminal so voltage across 2 kilo ohm resistor will be 2.1 volt now what will be the current through the 2 kilo ohm resistor here you will see the voltage difference between this terminal to this terminal will be 2.1 volt and we know the value of resistor so current will be ohms law V divided by R 2 kilo ohm resistor 2.1 divided by 2 into 10 to the power which will be equal to 1.05 milli ampere this is my third example of diode series circuit here you will see we have to calculate the current through this 2 kilo ohm resistor and voltage across this 2 kilo ohm resistor as we have to calculate the current and voltage through this 2 kilo ohm resistor at first let me look at the biasing condition of the diodes see this positive terminal will be connected with the p side of the silicon diode p side of the silicon diode but inside of this silicon diode and this negative terminal will be connected with the p side of this diode inside of this diode and inside of this diode this implies that this 20 volt will try to drive this silicon diode in forward bias this silicon diode in forward bias but this silicon diode is in reverse bias so I can replace this silicon diode with an open circuit
see if I replace this silicon diode with an open circuit you will see there will be no current flow from this terminal to this terminal although it seems that this diode and this diode are conducting but due to open circuit in this branch there will be no current flow that means this silicon diode and this silicon diode will not conduct any current as if they do not exist here so I can also remove this silicon diode and this silicon diode from our given circuit see after removing the silicon diodes because there will be no current flow our circuit will look like this see as this is our 20 volt source and this is 5 kilo ohm and this is 2 kilo ohm resistor this will be a simple circuit with resistors in series with current in this direction so this terminal will be positive and this terminal will be negative this terminal will be positive and this terminal will be negative let's say the current that is flowing through this circuit is I and the same current will be flowing through this 2 kilo ohm resistor so I will denote that current with I through 2 kilo ohm resistor as this is a series circuit we can calculate the current by using this formula total voltage is 20 volt and total resistance will be 5k plus 2k equal to 20 divided by 7000 equal to 2.86 milli ampere okay now see i know the value of current that is flowing through this 2 kilo ohm resistor so if i want to calculate the voltage drop across this 2 kilo ohm resistor i will use simple ohms law current i into the value of that resistor 2 kilo ohm that means it will be 2.86 milliampere so it will be 2 into 2.86 into 10 to the power minus 3 into 2 into 1000 which will be equal to 5.72 volt okay that's it now look at the circuit simulation see I have set the circuit in the simulator now look at the current that is flowing through this path is equal to 2.86 milliampere and the voltage drop between this terminal to ground terminal that means across this 2 kilo ohm resistor is equal to 5.71 volt okay that's it thank you